Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have got episode 3 of our Enshrouded playthrough. We actually decided to continue the story and figure out how to finish that first mission. Obviously this is me playing a video game and there's a few fails ahead, let's just put it that way. So let's not dwell on the intro, let's just head straight into it. Hope you enjoy it, see you on the other side. Right, find the sleeping survivor. So... Some of you may remember from episode one that we uh, were trying to find the sleeping survivor and, well, there was a lot of death runs. A lot of death runs to try and get our stuff back. So we're going to try and find the sleeping survivor now. I have another way of doing it, though, which I think might work. So if we come over here, let me go over to the bridge, which is over here somewhere. It says you need a grapple hook. So if I find a grapple hook, then in theory, we can get across the bridge and find the sleepy survivor. That bridge there. But I, I, I need to see if we can make a grapple hook. And if we can make a grapple hook, we can, we can actually complete that first quest. Because episode two, I got a bit carried away and built a box. Built a big box, actually. Um, that is the maximum size box you can build at a level one altar. That that's that's big. So workbench, there we go. Craft and repair. So manual crafting. Can we build? We can't build a grappling hook backpack. Let's do a workbench. Uh, blocks, roof, blocks, survival. Grappling hook, there it is. So we need metal scraps, string, and shroud spores. What have we got in here? We have Shevin. We have Shevin shroud spores in there. Do we have some scrap metal? We have six metal scraps. What else did, I need? did we need? That's my memory again. Uh, so we need three more shroud spores. So I'm guessing we need that from shrouded areas. So that's where we're going to head in a minute. We need seven string. We have 11 strings. So let's stick the shroud spores in here. The metal scraps in here so they're out of the way. Let's go and attack some things then, shall we? So let's head out to... Let's go to that cave we found in uh, 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 episode one, was it? I can't remember. But let's go this way anyway because there's... Oh, boom. We'll get some, we'll get some stuff. Oh, some shroud sports. Yeah, F, take all, man. We'll take all of that. We'll take all of that. So we are in a shrouded area. Let's go. Why am I nearly dead? How did I nearly die? I'm confused as to how I nearly died then. Thought I did all right. I've fallen up. No! What? No, no! No, no! No! How did I... How was I nearly dead? I didn't think I even got hit by the other two enemies. Anyway, let's get back in there then. Because we, we got some shroud spores a moment ago. We need some more. Oh. Oh, I can reach... What's that do? Ooh! Oh, this is my dead body. I'm like... What's that? Yeah, that's my dead body. That that's what I dropped. I thought I found something special. I hadn't. Got him. Let's make sure they're dead is deady deady. Some more shroud spores. Like I say, if we can get this grappling hook, we can actually do that. Oh, these these are reset as well, haven't they? Since we're last in here. Yeah, we'll take that. We got a metal hatchet. We ain't got no light though, so I can't see nothing. I'll loot the string, some wood logs. So, I, what was it? I needed three shroud spores? I think it was three shroud spores we needed. So, where are we at now? Uh, what's inventory? That one. We got two. We need, to, we need one more. Why is it glowing behind here? Any reason for it to be glowing behind here? Hmm, interesting. So any more things we Wah! That didn't that that wasn't nice. Yeah, we got the shroud spores we need. Right, let's go make this grappling hook now. Let's get out of here. 
Whee! Get back to base. Get back to my box. So proud of my box. I built a box. That's all that matters. I built a box. So let's now get everything out from here. That we need. So we need the rest of the scrap spores. There we go. We need the scrap metal. We need the string. Oh, no. I want to do it that way. Some things I can put over here now. So we can get rid of some of the stuff I don't need. <clears throat> Runes, got some more runes. I don't actually know what runes do right now. That's something we will learn as we go on, I'm sure. Fur patch. A logwood. Log wood logs even. Logwood. Uh craft and repair. Right, so let's get a grappling hook. Yeah. We have a grappling hook. So now we have a grappling hook. We should in theory be able to get across where we need to get across. And actually get to where we need to go to complete that quest that we have going. So we have grappling hook, we have swords, we have a staff. We have no armor, but let, let, let's find out. Let's go and do travel through the shroud. Let's actually complete the quest that's been there the whole time we've been playing the game that I decided to completely forget about and build a box in our last video. So hopefully on this one, we're gonna have a little bit of progression into the game. Ooh, Wolfie, come on in. I need to heal up, actually, to be fair. My um, my health is half, half. That's fine, it's fine. We don't need health. Who needs health? Let's see, no, no. Oh, six. Eat a mushroom. Is that gonna help? Magic damage bonus, but it didn't do anything else. Right, so. I am equipped. Oh, cool. That, that's good. I, I like that. I've equipped the item. It's now... I've now got the spare slot on my hotbar. That, that, that was... That, that was cool. Let me balance across there, I'm guessing. There we go. Oh, dead body. Oh, search. Take what you have. You can swing across some chasms using the grappling hook. Oh. We can climb there. There we go. And jump down. That looks like the. I don't know ammo. I need ammo. I need ammo for my staff. Yeah, they're bear traps. Yeah, we we won't go near them. We we're going to get ourselves stuck behind something though. Someone is here. Is it you? Wow. That, that, that was a one-hit wonder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. That um, wasn't fun. <laughs> Did I? Right. I haven't got anything. So that's hel that helps with health. Oh, yeah. We've got the ultimate. Oh, I, I forget we've got um, an ult. Oh, I've got a health potion. Oh, cool. I didn't realize I had a health potion on me. There we go. I forgot we have the alt. alt. The alt. Hold. Press alt for the alternate hotbar. I forget about that. I'm not used to it in games. So, we can now get across this bridge, though. Which is a billy bone. Maybe we can't get across that bridge. <clears throat> um, where's my, where's my grappling hook gone? So I put the grappling hook on. I equipped it. Is my grappling hook no longer, it's there. Oh, I didn't have enough stamina. That'll be why. I didn't have enough stamina. Whoops. Okay, note to self, don't sprint at bridge and think you have enough stamina to cross it using your grappling hook when you need your grappling hook to, you need stamina to be able to use your grappling hook. Right, lesson learned. Right, we have enough stamina this time. Let's try again. Yeah, we do. Right, thank you. Jump, because I can't bother going down the ladder. Yeah, don't sprint at bridge. 
and hope you don't fall. That was a bit of a silly mistake on my part. I will, I will admit that. There we go. Right, so we have someone over here with a very big gun. That guy there. He's got a very big crossbow. I'm wondering, can we avoid him? Can we just do this? Yes, we can. <laughs> now I'm going to go up behind him. Oh, no, he's turned around. Oh, dear. Quick, get behind him. Get the, get the element of surprise. Yeah, boy. That's how you do it. Why can't I take his weapon, man? That would be well cool. I would want, I want his weapon, but I can't I can't have it. Shad times. Pick up all the stuff that I, I just lost. But we're across the bridge now. We're only 208 80 meters from the person that we gotta go and find. So something popped up over there, but we'll, we'll just keep going this way. Right, we've got a we've got a base or something coming up, so what is this? Roadblock, grappling hook required to cross. Okay. Not enough stamina. Yeah, yeah, you need stamina, guys, for, for the grappling hook. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a... That'll be a good start. Wow. That hit me hard, man. Uh, how can I crouch? I can't remember what there is crouch. There it is. Uh, am I stuck here? I have to go this way. I can get down that way. There we go. Let's get my sword out. Wait, if I axe down the whole building, will that kill the person? <laughs> if I take this, can we take the support legs out? <laughs> oh, shoot. No. That, that, this guy's hard. Like, this is a start of mission. This is the first mission quest slash thing they give you. And I'm struggling to take the enemies out. Is it is it just me being me? That was my fault. I was messing around thinking I could... Uh, th thinking I could do... Be funny and take the whole structure down with the person on at the top with it. When I should have just been focused on taking the person out rather than messing around trying to take the structure down. So yes, that was my fault, but... Oh, no, no! Ooh! Ooh, I nearly did it again. I nearly did it again. Not enough stamina. There we go. And then climb up there. And jump. Watch out for them. Watch out for them, he says, running into them. Right, so we're back up now. Back here now, right? So I've got bombs. Uh, oh shh! This is like a repeat of the first episode. Death, 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 and more death. <laughs> there we go. All right, we will avoid the uh, the traps this time. I'm not going to go running into one. Oh, well, I just walk through the uh, walk through the thing. So it doesn't actually like auto balance or anything across there, which is quite cool. It means you do have to do it yourself. There we go. Jump. Oh, lucky I jumped on the trap that was already uh, already thingied, right? That went boom. <laughs> I forgot I had that on. Because uh, it's not carrying on anything. I didn't realize I, I didn't have that on. Can we go this way? What's around here? Is there a way round? Is that the way we got to go? Find the sleeping survivor is there. Set as waypoint. It's that way anyway. I've been going the wrong way. I could go back and try and get my stuff that I had, but I didn't have a lot there, so. Oh. I'm, I'm. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is going to be brutal. I got stung! 
my bees. Right. Okay. So we've worked out we were going the wrong way in the first place. Uh, so that's always a winner. Then I got stung by bees. Why did I get stung by bees for? So we've got back here. It's now nighttime. This is the issue. I think we might have to do sneaky sneaky. So obviously you have to pick up my, I'm going to pick up my body. So it's like, yeah, it's useful to sneak up on enemies, right? And the enemy's now over there. I only got some logs. It wasn't too much of an issue. So I've made it dark. I don't think that helps, but I made it dark. What's over here? It's dark, so I'm hoping this helps. Another book. Cinder vessel broke down during testing. The rat I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame. Bright flash, then nothing. Thankfully, the side effect of the blindness was only temporary. I've acquired a new subject, another rat, Igni. Hopefully, our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I'll ensure the cinder vessel holds it. Okay, right. We collected that. That guy is facing me, though. That's the problem. We'll take that meat. We are headed towards the... Per I'm, like, sneaking around this... It's very dark. It's so dark. I snuck around that enemy rather than try and face them head on. Oh, look. Look at me doing sneaky stuff. Ancient Vault of the Blacksmith. Ooh, there's an enemy there. Any more enemies in here? Just the one. Can I sneak up around them? Can we loot dead bodies? No. So that's where I need to go. Oh, they heard me. We had double, double axe. No! Snuck past one of them. I need to uh, sort out some health potions or something, I think, because... Uh, where's my corner? There it is. Where's my corner with all my stuff in it? All right, what can we craft then? Manual crafting. We can get bandages. I need torn cloth and string. Um... The only armor I can get is rags, which give me a little bit of physical resistance. Okay, so string and torn rags. So we've got torn cloth there, and we've got string there. I don't know if we're going to have enough. I'm wondering. Manual rags. We can build one of them. So let's craft that. So hopefully that will help. I've, I've used up all my string. Uh, what else was uh, Bandages. We've got one lot of bandages made. So, inventory. Backpack. So, can we... How do we equip stuff? Is it on the character page? Right, so I've already got threadbare pants equipped. Obviously, we don't want to do that. We. Yep, so space equip them. Right, so click on there. No, no gloves. We have that one. So, this is giving me a smidge more armor compared to what I had. Let's put it that way. Uh, all attributes level two. Okay. Status details. Uh, nothing on there. Long range power attack. Equipped range weapon. There we go. Backpack. Ex Ooh, we can get backpack extensions. We haven't got a glider yet. I, I've heard about the glider. Something quite interesting. Let's put it that way. String comes from plant fibers, which we haven't got any of. All right, so we do have bandages. So let's bandage ourselves up. So then we're going to have full, nearly full health. It's coming to morning as well, which is always a winner. We're going to have to do this at night time. So there we go. We've almost got full health now. I could throw a bomb at Ooh. Should we just go and throw a bomb at them? I want to see, like, the damage these do to people. I saw, I thought I saw a wolf. 
I didn't see a warp. We're all good. Did that guy move that's up here? I don't want to be jumped by them. Sort of sneak through here. That one is that guy's there. We can we can sneak. Karen sneaking past them. They might be alerted in a moment, but that's fine because we'll have a bit of time to prepare for them. We don't have any more bandages though. That's the only thing. Ineffective. Well, that's really helpful. Run away, run away, run away, run away. There we go. All right, we've got some attacks in. Let's wait for my stamina to build back up again. Right, so. Parried him. Come on then. Parried them as well. Come on, we've got this this time. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Don't know why I say that every time. But there we go. Oh crap, another one. They were blocking. Oh no. Oh, I parried him. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're blocking me now. Boom. Oh, I've got a provisional site. Oh. <laughs> I got a new toy. I got a new toy. See, look, new toy. Right, cool. So that's my death body from earlier. We'll pick that up. Just some wood anyway. Let's read this one now. It's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet bringing with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he sleeps in, into eternity. May the, asage, 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 asage. May the ashes of one... Age sustain the seeds of the next. Okay, dokey then. Right, what we got here? We got anything we can do here? Just have a look, see what is around before we open the. Uh... Boom. Oh. <laughs> oh, we need a lockpick? Oh, man. I didn't know you needed lockpicks. I need lockpicks. Um, just, just, yeah. Right, let, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. Finally, we managed to awaken the survivor. Is that that yet? Find the sleeping... I did. You retrieved a survivor. Place them in your home with a summoning staff. Ooh. Okay, so I've got to go back to base now then. Let's go. I haven't got lockpicks to open that chest. So we've got to remember that chest is there. So when we get some lockpicks, I, um, I can open it up. Oh, that 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 got that looks like that goes boom boom. That's red. They normally go boom boom. Oh, what's up there? Something up there. Just noticed something up there. Something glowing through the floor. Oh yeah, baby. Another chest. Some more bombs. By the ancients, I've done it, equilibrium. The subject sleeps yet can be awakened. They are dead yet alive. The subject does not decay. Is untouched by the coarse flow of time. A flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof we can survive. We can endure these cinder vessels. And miss the shroud. Oh, nice. Smash stuff up. Looks like I can. Just because I can. Anyway, let's... Not try and kill myself by jumping from a great height. Is that something I already have? So I can summon, you can have people at your base. This is cool. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to, so I don't run into these again. I'm just going to blow them up. There we go. At least I won't run into them again now. Whee! The grappling hook, so cool. Can't wait to get the glider. Right, so let's go and put this person in our base and then see what happens. It's our first, the first main, like, the first quest that we've had to do. Um, so how do I get across there then? Because I can't, do I just run and jump? 
Should we risk it for that chalky biscuit? Wee! No. No, you, you don't just run and jump. <laughs> but at least I'm back at base. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Right. Commune with the flame. The survivor will be worth the addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Okay, cool. Uh, upgrade. Oh, I need shroud cores to do that, don't I? Right, so. If I can then build it so easily, I should be able to go into crafting. <laughs> Summoning staff. We need one one twig. Uh, don't know if this is going to be. That's going to be like full on wood logs, isn't it? Yeah. Are these going to give me twigs or just wood logs? Don't know if he's going to give me twids or just woodlocks, so let's have a look. Looks like just woodlocks. Yeah, they're just woodlocks, so... These bushes, I believe, give me twigs, if I remember correctly. Plant fiber. <laughs> this gives me twigs! Plant fiber. So, no, they don't do anything if you... Oh, there's a wolf. Loot, take, there you go. Like, they just vanish when you do, when you attack them. There we go, we got twigs. Let's get the summoning staff made then. Let's get back into our base so we're nice and safe. And we'll make a summoning staff. And we'll summon the survivor. Craft, there we go. We have a summoning staff, which is on my alt, alt hot bar. Tab. Hey! We hello mate, how you doing? How you getting on? I was like, oh, I can tell it to craft stuff. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So the blacksmith can make all my blacksmithing stuff. I get it now. Spiked club, yeah boy. Fur armor set. Decorative dishes. So obviously we need a forge. We need 10 charcoal, 30 stone, and 10 scraps. Take a long look. Take a long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. <laughs> yeah, I am weak and puny, and I did take a long time to find you. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> His equipment. Luckily, you woke me up first. Uh, crafting a scrappy sword, a spike club, or some armor will serve us well. Cool. Uh, Ember Veil can still be saved. Where's, uh, where there's ash, there's embers, kid. The shroud suffocates the valleys, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set the... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well rested. McGee, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up, eat well, and before you head out, uh, a fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will pay you for anything. Okay, cool. So, crafting side of things, I can't craft anything yet. Uh, because I haven't got the stuff to do it, but I can get a scrappy axe and I can get a scrappy pickaxe and I can get lock picks now. So I don't know if I've got some charcoal actually. Have I got some charcoal already? I have three tar, but I haven't got any charcoal in there. Got plenty of swords. Um, what ammo does that need? I don't know what ammo that needs. Uh, that's a rare hatchet, actually. So we'll put that one on instead of that hatchet. Throw bear pants can go in there. Right, so we need then... Oh, we don't want to summon another one. <laughs> no, don't summon another one. I don't need another guy. Oh, it just moves him. Oh, that's right. It <laughs> just moves him. That's fine. Popping back down again, so let's not press that button again. I've done it again. All right, because I'm used to pressing tab for arc. That's my excuse. Um, let's take the summoning one off of me now. There we go. It's because I'm on my second hot bar. There we go. Okay, so let's see. I want to get the forge built, so let's get a campfire. Let's build on them because we don't actually have one built. Uh, backpack. 
Oh, it's gone onto my alt bar again. And then cook. No. Cook, there we go. Okay, so the longer I... Oh, I'm fully rested now for 10 minutes. Cool. Can I do anything else with it except for just have it lit? No. There you go. That's me fully rested now. But how do I get charcoal then? Is this something I have to craft? Is it? Build a fireplace. Let's build a fireplace. I am distracted much. Um... <laughs> Crafting. I want to build a fireplace. Don't know why. Just fancy a fireplace. Where did I see the fireplace? I just saw the fireplace. Where did I see it? Where's the fireplace? Oh, hang on. No, because it's not... I'm guessing then that'll be that one. Let's whack that on my hotbar quick. No, it's not there. I saw a fireplace I could build a second ago. Crafting. Where did the fireplace go that I could build? Oh, I can build lockpicks straight from my own inventory anyway. Didn't realize that. I swear I saw it in here that I could build a fireplace. I haven't got any skills unlocked yet. Wait. That's really confused me now. Oh, okay. So if I go cook... Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Hold to cook. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's a water thing. Cook. Let's cook up the lean meat. So this is how you cook. I've worked out how to cook, at least. Is that automatically just going to put it on? Do I have to release each one? I have to release each one. Okay. So we'll get some meat cooked up. Clear the elixir well is our next quest. Well, I need to get charcoal. So I need to work out how to get charcoal. It's not like I thought it would be. Create a fire and then burn wood, but... <clears throat> So how did I see, how did I see charcoal? Uh, not charcoal. I don't know how I saw that. Two seconds. Right, so we're rested for nine minutes. I need charcoal. And more metal scraps. Should we smash all this up? Let's get this smashy happy, shall we? Oh, we've got water, torn cloth. Just wood coming out of these, not getting any scraps or anything. Oh, there's some metal scraps there. Chop that down, because that's metal that's attached to it. So is that going to give me metal scraps or not? That's going to be the question. No, wood logs. <laughs> After metal scraps. Oh, it's telling me to go this way. Oh no, it's just lit that lamp. Again, attacking this gonna make any difference. Is it gonna give me any metal scraps? Is all I'm after. No, it's not. Okay, two seconds. Where can I get metal scraps from easily? Oh, can I get up there now? Now I've got my grappling hook. Can I get up there? Oh, yes, I can. So, 
I know. I've, I've figured this out. I need to get up there. Climb up there. I've, I've kind of glitched that now. <laughs> um, oh, no. I smashed my way out. Got myself stuck. <laughs> There's a ladder there. <laughs> Just go and get yourself stuck. You know, it'll be fine. Oh, there's a grappling hook thing there as well. Cool. I can get up here. Oh, keep going. There we go. Smash these up because... Got some water and some wood. Oh, chest. Hello, chest. You'll give me something nice. Some arrows and a bandage. Whoop. I could actually do with that bandage right now. Oh, there's a house. heal myself up there's a house and some enemies nearby as well so don't know what's gonna do more damage i'm guessing this axe will or it'll be that one we'll try the with this scythe let's see what see what we can get oh he's got an arrow thing missed me this guy's oh he's dead that was a lot easier than i expected this wolf isn't going to be though. Gee, that was hurt. One bite. Ow. Ow. Like two bites. That Two bites. Right. Let, let's go get my stuff back. Oh, hello. Flame Art was saying something. You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the Springlands. Okay. Well, I need to go and get my stuff back because I just lost it again. Not that I die a lot or anything. I just like to not live there's no grapple hook thing up to there not enough stamina there we go oh good job i didn't fall to my death this time when it gives me enough stamina i'll jump across there we go i'll turn it there we go get the yeah the scythe out oh, i ran out of stamina it's like why can't i climb I'm gonna go to that one. It's a rare hatchet. I reckon that will be better than the um, scythe. All right, let me get. Ooh. Come on in. There we go. Wolfie's down. These go boom, right? So should we just? My game crashed! <laughs> I caused a game crash! Right, so I have to go back and just get my stuff back and do that again. <laughs> oh, right, let's quickly go back and get my stuff then. I caused a game crash, that's amazing. All right, so we're going to have to take on Wolfie again because the game crashed and reset back at the altar. So, oh, we've got to take on that guy again as well. Did it crash that far back? Well, Wolfie's coming. Wolfie's dead. Mate, boy's there. There he is. Go. Right, so don't throw bombs at bombs. We know that rule now. Get from that a few things. Take that. Dismantle. Old books. I just wanted to explore what was up here because I saw it in an earlier episode and I couldn't get up here. So I figured I would now. Don't don't blow up explosives. It causes game to crash. There we go. Right. Ooh. What we got here? Got another read. Argon, take care with this new shipment from the valley. The merchant said it's highly volatile. Apparently, the explosives explode if jostled or tossed about. Who would have known? Anyway, I paid a pretty penny for this. Do not mess around in here. 
I can't afford to fix another hole in the wall. Okay, cool. Right, let's pick up the rest of those explosives. We've got some more. Remember, do not blow up the explosives. Because that, 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 that will cause a game to crash. <laughs> do these do anything? I keep seeing them around, but I don't think they actually do anything. There's a beehive there. Uh, we'll go around here. Collect anything from here. Some more explosives. Ah, I can harvest that for honey. Cool. So yes, we're kind of gone on a random exploration right now. There's a wall. I'm going to head back. I'm going to head back to base a second. We know not to explode the uh, explosives. Should we give it another go? Should we see if the game crashes again? Oh yeah, search that quick before we do that. Take all of them. Eight. Oh, it didn't cause the game to crash this time, but it caused it to lag hard. Oh, it's, it's created a crater as well. Ooh, interesting. So, there you go. We finally managed to complete that first mission. It turns out we were going in completely the wrong direction for a lot of it. Initially, in episode one, we went miles in the opposite direction to where we needed to go. And also in this episode, we kept trying to go over the blocked road and dying. And I think I might know why we were dying now, because I don't think we were meant to go that way in the first place. Hopefully, though, guys, you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please do the usual. Like, subscribe, ding the bell, leave a comment, do what you want to do. Whatever takes your fancy. Now, with Enshrouded, it isn't something we play live. But if you enjoy your live content, we are live here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 p.m. GMT. Keep an eye on the community tab. Keep an eye on the Discord. All the links for everything is down below. Please join us in those live streams if you enjoy live content as well. It's always very entertaining. So until next episode, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.